What's up, people? It's your girl, Adiola. So guess what? The Nigerian government organized their own Bring Back a Girls protest this week. Did you guys see the pictures? You know, they came in the Shwapi government-owned buses, market women, unemployed young men, all of them paid to march to the federal secretariat in Abuja. They were all wearing t-shirts that said, Bring Back a Girls. The only difference is they said that their protest is to Boko Haram, not to the government. First of all, there must be a mistake somewhere. If you're protesting against Boko Haram, why not go to Sambisa Forest where Boko Haram lives? Eh? Second of all, suddenly NTA had time to cover this protest. Eh? This is our national television. <laughs> This is a serious matter. You don't know when to joke and when, when not to joke. Ah, uh -uh, what is your problem now? As I was saying, legitimate protesters have been going to the Unity Fountain in Abuja daily for the past about 30 days, and NTA never once covered their protest. That is the group led by Dr. Obi Ezek, who is silly, by the way. But now, suddenly, NTA showed up. Eh? <laughs> that is how you know it's a government sponsored protest. And then, to my greatest disappointment, this new group harassed the legitimate protesters. I'm like, what? They were breaking their chairs, hitting them with empty bottles. They stole cell phones, they stole handbags of the real protesters. They also attacked the local and international media correspondents that were covering the real protest, confiscating and breaking their cameras. And the whole time, the whole time, Nigerian policemen were there doing nothing, absolutely nothing. Actually, that is not completely right. They arrested two of the troublemakers and then within 10 minutes, <laughs> they released them right there. Which makes me wonder if this administration is truly trying to find these girls. And by the way, this week, I learned that four more girls escaped on their Oh, no, no help from the military. No, no, no. And while these girls are trying to break free, Nigerian officials are still playing the blame game. I mean, listen to our information minister, Lebanon Maku. If you go to the Bring Back the Girl campaign, 90% of those organizing it belong to a political party. Has the media ever analyzed it? 90% of those organizing it belong to a particular political party. Can you imagine that? That means that 90% of all of you that have been protesting all over the world, all of you belong to a political party. And by that, it means the opposition party, APC. 90% of you in Canada, in the US, in London, in Sweden, in Nigeria, including Michelle Obama <laughs> and Malala. Yeah, another APC there, yeah, right there. There goes another APC. Yes, APC, APC, APC. Do you see what I'm saying? 90% of you are APC. The Chibok girls remain our number one priority. We will never sleep, we will not rest until God brings them out. I beg, I beg, does he look like someone that has not been sleeping to you? Eh? And then he ended it by saying that eh, until God brings them back. I said Nigerians. It is God that will go into that bush eh, where we have not done our own part. Eh? Meanwhile, one soldier spoke with journalists that hmm, they are ill-equipped compared to to Boko Haram and he said that they are underpaid. Not only that, he said that they are normally given about 69 bullets to share among themselves with AK-47. Meanwhile, Boko Haram guys are using machine guns, they have ammo tanks. He said that a lot of the soldiers are frustrated. And then our chief of defense staff announced to the whole world that they now know where the girls are. I said, okay, and so that's it? Really? You know where the girls are? That is not the only thing that we want to hear. I don't think that they should even announce to the world that they know where the girls are until they've rescued them. Don't you think so? Because if I were Boko Haram, I'll just move them to another place. Now listen to his explanation about why they've not gone after these girls. We are up against something that is more than Boko Haram. So it's no longer Boko Haram. It is Al-Qaeda we are fighting. Yeah. Hey, hey, that is Kado. Now we are fighting Al Qaeda. Eh? It is no longer Boko Haram. And then he said that they are formidable, but we will confront them. I said, Mr. Man, Mr. Man, of course you will confront them. Nobody is arguing about that. You know, but the question is, eh, when? When now? <laughs> how long will it be? You know, last week I told you about how two parents of the girls have already died. Whatever they were hoping to do to these girls, by now they would have done everything. They would have messed them up by now. Don't you think so? It has taken way too long. Oh, I saw this video that made me realize that right now, Nigeria has become the laughing stock in many countries. On the case of Boko Haram, for me when I'm watching on television and I find our leaders wait until they are invited to go to Europe <laughs> to sit there and, 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 and just... You know, it's like they are made to sit down and address their problems. We are happy to sit there in Paris with the President of France 
and address and just talk about addressing problems. And I hate to say that this man is right, but he is. He is right. Yes, he has his own issues. I agree. But whether you like it or not, that is how people are now looking at Nigeria. He said that it's like we like to appear as if we are addressing problems, but we really don't. And in case you're wondering what he's talking about, this is Nigerian president in Paris when he was supposed to visit the girls in Chibok. My question is for Mr. Goodluck, uh, Jonathan. What kind of support have you foreseen for the family of these young girls and why didn't you go and visit the families as soon as you heard that uh, these young girls had been abducted? Uh, uh, thank you. Maybe we, the issue of uh, visit the families. Uh, the, these girls that are from a particular school, but there are lots of misconceptions. These girls have been removed from the school. So visiting the school per se, does not solve the problem. The commitment of the president and the Nigerian government is to find where these girls are. They are not from one family. They are scattered from a particular Chibok area, which is more than, I think, one full local made up of so many communities. So there is no one family that you go and uh, visit. If the president goes to Chibok today, it does not solve any problem. Maybe psychological problem or for uh, media relevance. But the commitment of the federal government is to rebuild that school with good walls to protect it and provide facilities since it's predominantly a school that takes care of girls' education. <laughs> what was the question? <laughs> Did he answer the question? He still didn't visit the families, by the way, till now. I mean, Shebi, it's only a matter of telling all the parents to gather somewhere. No one is expecting Mr. President to be going from house to house. But you know, when President Goodluck Jonathan visited South Africa recently, they booed him. The world is now laughing at us. They basically told him, go and bring back the girls. And then his wife will come out and say, stop abusing my husband. Stop abusing my husband. Why won't people abuse your husband, madam? He reinforced the security guard at the presidential villa very recently because of protesters. Instead of sending those soldiers to rescue the girls. Why won't people talk? Lawmakers recently approved Governor Akpabio getting 100 million naira as medical retirement allowance and Mr. President is not saying anything about that. Why won't people abuse your husband? Seriously? And um, lastly, and I'll keep saying this, that I am really disappointed in the Christian body in Nigeria as well. I mean, more than 200 girls have been kidnapped for more than 40 days and churches are not marching in support of these girls. Most of the girls are Christians, by the way. But you know, that doesn't even matter. Pastors and prophets are not rallying their members. I'm like, what? All that the Christian Association of Nigeria has done, can, is to ask people to fast for three days. And I'm like, even Abraham, the father of faith, when his nephew Lot was taken captive, remember that Abraham went after them just with the people in his household. Though. He faced a huge army and he fought until he rescued his nephew. He didn't just stay at home praying. Shouldn't that challenge us to do more? And I know that if the daughter of any big man of God were to be among those girls that were kidnapped, all their church members by now would have been protesting. But you know, wait and be my own. I don't know anything anyway. Guess what? I'm just keeping it real.